Hello humans of the internet, my name is Iceberg Lettuce, and today we are here in Minecraft Snapshot 20w21a taking a look at a data pack that I made. So as we all know, striders are obviously the single best mob in Minecraft, but there are a couple of things that I think could be improved with them, so this data pack just adds a couple of little tweaks and stuff that I thought made a little bit of sense and made striders a little more easy to work with. First of all, as you can see, they are now warmed up by a whole bunch of different blocks. So before, striders would only be warmed up if they were on top of lava, but now I've changed that so they will be warmed up on top of magma blocks, both types of campfires, and both types of fire. The second change that I made is to the way that you get string from striders. So before, you needed to kill a strider to get string off of it, which, you know, that's that seems awfully harsh. No one wants to hurt a strider. So I've changed that, so now when you feed them warped fungus, when you try to breed them, they will not only get the little hearts above their head, but they will also drop a little bit of string. So when you give a strider warped fungus, they will drop three to eight string, and killing them still drops string, but it only drops one to three, so, you know, you're incentivized to not kill striders, you want to try and, you know, be nice to them, that's the nice thing to do. Also, the fact that you can have them on all these other types of blocks makes getting string off of these guys way easier, because before it was pretty hard to do stuff like this with striders, because they had to be on lava all the time, and, you know, lava is not very friendly to items. If things fall into lava, they get burned, so now you can have them on different types of blocks that don't destroy your stuff. This is completely unrelated, but I noticed if you lure a strider towards you, and while it's like halfway on the block right next to a fence post, you can really quickly place a fence post and it turns the one next to it into a half fence post. I don't know if this is useful at all, but I mean, it looks pretty cool. Weird fence glitches aside, if you want to download this data pack because you like these changes, you can check out the link in the description to planetminecraft.com where you can get this downloaded and put it in your own world. Thanks for watching and see you next time, everybody.